grateful and thankful. We just love you. Bless Pastor today. Bless all the people that are coming. Bless, Lord, and keep us. Make your face shine upon us. Help us, Holy Spirit, in our endeavors to be better and to be wiser and to be stronger because you, Holy Spirit, live within us. We just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, today I'm going to read from Psalms 43 and 1 through 5. And it says, Vindicate me, God, and champion my cause against the unfaithful nation. Rescue me from a deceitful and unjust person. For you are the God of my refuge. Why have you rejected me? Why must I go about in sorrow because of the enemy's oppression? Send your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to the holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Then I will come to the altar of God and to God a, my greatest joy. I will praise you with the lyre and you are my God, oh my God. Why, my soul, are you so dejected today? Why are you in such turmoil? Hope in God, for I will yet still praise him. He is our Savior and he is our God. And let the Lord be uh, a blessing to the reading of his word today. Jesus. Amen, amen. Thank you so much, Sister Catherine, for declaring the Word of God. And uh, David said, why my soul thou cast? <laughs> Is that the question that sometimes that you and I ask? Why I'm so sad today? Why things doesn't go very well as we expected? Why this happened to us? Why our children? Why our business? Why our relationship? I say many, many times that we ask those questions in life, but remind ourselves of what David said. Do not let those things disturb us, but put your hope in God, and for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. And I want you to know that when you and I begin to put our hope in God, something is going to change in our life. Do you know that? When you begin to say hallelujah, when you and I begin to declare the grace of God in your life, you're going to see that the situation will turn around by the miracles of God. And many times, as many of you also know about my story, I was persecuted, I was deported from the family, and then I was alone uh, without the family. And those moments in life, the devil just come and talk to into right into my mind. You see, when you serve God, I told you before, you better become the professor of the university. You better become a lawyer as you were before, right? Oh, those positions are good in your life. And then now you give up. You have a good life. And now you have to face with all of the turmoils of your life. But you know that the devil is a liar. I want you to know once again is that the devil is a liar because they do not want us to reach to the things that God has in store for us, that God has planned for our life. And that's why in every moment of life like this, I learn one thing. I learn to praise God. I learn to worship God. And then I learn to be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And that's why at least I'm singing better than today. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you know that before is a joke. Uh, but it's also a reality. Uh, my friend said, and even some of my family members said, when I sing, even the dog will bark. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just imagine that? But when I begin to learn to be in the presence of God, and God said, not only to change my attitude, not only to change my situation, not only to change my mind, my thinking, my ways of life, but God also changing and giving me the gifts that I have never known that I have it before. Amen. Amen. So I want to encourage every one of you and any one of you, if you are nearby to this place, you are most welcome to join us. And we are here on every Saturday night and Friday night at 7 p.m. 
So come and join us. Friday nights will be in English and Vietnamese, and Saturday nights will be in English, and Sunday morning at 11 a.m. here at this place in English. So would you please just come and join us at this address, uh, 8461 Garden Grove Universe, Garden Grove City, California. So if you're nearby, if you're not, uh, we welcome you to join and worship together with us online either for Vietnamese service, English service, or Mandarin service. So once again, just like David said, we are going to put our hope in God. And then, and then what will happen? We will praise Him, my Savior and my God. You are my stronghold. You are my stronghold. And because of that, nothing will be shaken. Nothing can turn me from away from the love of God. Nothing can separate me from that love of God and His grace. Okay, come and join us and just say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your strength. Thank you, Lord, for the great things that you have been doing in my life. And here, once again, David said in Psalm 171, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, and for His steadfast love endures forever. And I will give to the Lord the thanks due to His righteousness, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord the Most High. Are you ready to sing praises? Turn to one another and say that I'm ready to sing praises, okay? Give a high five to someone yeah, or a hello to someone and just say that I want to sing praises. I want to worship God. I want to glorify His name. I want to rejoice in the presence of God. Hallelujah. I come before you today and there's just one thing that I Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Won't you give them to me?
chúng ta can still sing and be joyful in the presence of God. Thank God, even though this small fellowship, but a very vibrant one, a very challenging one, and we pray that God is going to bless all of us, and we continue to sing Hosanna, Hosanna to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords in our life. Amen. You want to clap your hand? You want to dance? Go ahead and do so. to just declare the glory of God and thanks given to the word of declaration right now and just give thanks to God Father we thank you so much that you still allow us to hide under your wings Father we want to say thank you that in the midst of the situation that we are still going through even when the ocean rise and the thunders roar Lord, we want to say thank you because that you have given us the strength so that we can show with you about all the storm. We can go against all of the winds and the waves. All of the waves that surrounding us. And Father, we thank you that you are there in our midst. And you continue to be with us and bring us through and deliver us and heal us and bless us. Lord, we want to say thank you for this morning. That once again, that we still have prayer so that we can worship you. 
that we still have strength so that we can move on. And in the name of Jesus, Father, we pray that you're going to bless every one of us abundantly as we are here in this in this place, as we are here in the house of the Lord, as we are here to worship you, as we are here to look for you, to seek for you, to search for you, as we are here to be covered under your wings. Lord, you are our fortress, you are our shelter, and you are our stronghold. We just come to you right now, we dedicate our family, our church, our relationship, our marriage, and everything that we do, that we pray that may you cover us and bless us.
Bring that visitation once again, Lord. And that we are going to see the revival upon our lives. We continue to become a blessing to reignite the heart of so many cold people and lukewarm people in this world. But more than that, Father, we are going to become the light. We are going to go to shine upon the light that you have given to us.
adoration. That forever we will want to love God. Forever we want to worship Him. Forever we want to declare His praise. Forever we want to be His children.